Well, hi, thanks for joining me for this uh, tips and tricks session on SolidWorks Composer. My name is Brad Williamson, Territory Technical Manager for SolidWorks based in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, first thing uh, that I want to cover in this introductory demo is a concept that I'll call the container concept, or you might uh, hear it called the root concept. And it's a way of organizing our assembly structures in basically with a top level container. It's a way that if you incorporate this technique, you'll have a lot more flexibility in your assembly structure. Now, typically, when we work with files, uh, most users out of the box will, will follow this kind of a workflow. They'll, uh, they'll go to create a new project just by doing a file open and then browsing to the, the actual SOLIDWORKS assembly that, uh, that they want to open up. Now, when you do that, you will find in uh, the Composer assembly tree, you'll see your top level assembly over here at the very top level uh, in the assembly manager tree. Now, that's okay but it leaves you with a uh, it, it sort of binds your hands if you want to start incorporating other 3d content into this assembly like wrenches or other tools maybe fixtures things like that so instead i want to show you another concept the idea is to begin every document with a blank smg file think of it like a template although uh, composer itself doesn't really use the concept of a template but it's the same idea so when i start a new project i always begin by opening up a blank SMG file that I have saved on some location on my hard drive. And once I do that, now I open up files and choose the option merge into current document. And what happens when you do that is you will get a structure like you see in this model where you now see a top level container called root and then all of my sub models appear basically like sub assemblies like you would expect. It's just a much more flexible way of combining 3D content. So for example, I have my top level bench grinder, but then I also have additional 3D content like screwdrivers and wrenches that I can easily bring into my models. If you've ever encountered this situation, back in, the, back in this file here, where everything's at the top level, and let's say you go to insert a screwdriver or a wrench, but then you update the bench grinder model or you update your SOLIDWORKS model and then you find out that your, your wrench or your screwdriver, that they disappear, well, that's what's happened. It's because if you insert that screwdriver into into the top level assembly structure underneath bench grinder when you update bench grinder it doesn't have the screwdriver in it it was in your it was in your composer file well it's going to vanish and that's why that happens so using this top level structure that's going to make that problem go away so in the next segment i'm going to show you how to create that blank or template file 